Let's take a look how to make some grungy halftone line effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. Now let's go and convert a layer into smart object. I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, and I'm gonna go with black and white, click OK. Let's go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna make this 3.5, click OK. And let's go to the adjustments, select solid color. I'm gonna make it white, click OK. Now let's go to the colors and make sure that the foreground color is black and the background color is white. Let's go to filter and let's go to filter gallery. Convert smart object. Go to sketch, select halftone pattern. And let's go to pattern type and I'm gonna change it to line. Make sure the contrast is on zero. And here I'm gonna increase the scale all the way to eight. Click OK. I'm also gonna rename the layer and change up the blend mode. And I'm gonna select the vivid light. All right, so let's go to the adjustments again, select the solid again, and I'm gonna make this black, click OK. Let's go ahead and rename this noise. And let's change up the blend mode, select subtract. And let's go to filter, go to noise, and select add noise. Convert smart object, and I'm gonna increase the noise nice and high. I'm gonna go all the way up. I'm gonna go somewhere around 275, click OK. And let's go back to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur, and this time I'm gonna add 1.6, click OK. Let's go to adjustments, select the threshold, and I'm gonna go to the blend mode, change it to linear dodge add. This is gonna make it a little bit more softer, and I'm gonna adjust the threshold. You can make it thinner or thicker, and as you can see, it's also gonna adjust the grunge on it. And I also can adjust the contrast on this to make it more visible. Let's go to the layer with the model, double click on the thumbnail, and it's gonna open up the original image. Let's go to adjustments, select the curves, and I'm gonna increase, bump up the contrast and exaggerate with it. Let's go to file, save. And as you can see, we got two tabs and here we can go back to the original tab. And now the image looks way better. And that's how I make these grungy halftone lines here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.